At the Engineering Management Institute, we help engineers become better managers and leaders. And we often do that by helping engineering professionals become more productive. So we received a question from one of our subscribers that we want to answer in today's video. How do you deal with needy engineering clients? We all have clients that are more needy than others. It's just the world that we live in. Some people need to be communicated to more than others. However, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that you set the expectations for your clients. So if they email you five times a day and you respond five times a day, then they're gonna expect that going forward. If they email you five times a day and you respond once at the end of the day with a summary email responding to all of their questions, then they're gonna get used to you emailing them one time a day. So that's one thing to think about in terms of setting client expectations. Now, another thing that you can do is you can be proactive and communicate to them how often you'll be in touch with them in terms of the project. Maybe it's project updates, finance updates on their project. I know for me, when I was practicing as a civil engineer, I like to send weekly project updates to my clients every Friday. A simple email with some bullets in it, updating them of the project status. And the expectations were set that at the end of each week, they would get that update. So this is just something to think about. When you have needy clients, you may be able to kind of change their mindset or reset their expectations by the way you communicate with them. And obviously, the earlier on you do it, the better, because once they get used to something, they'll be used to it going forward. And there's nothing wrong with over communicating with clients. However, you want to make sure that you're not over communicating to the point where it's hurting your productivity and taking you away from those deep focus times throughout your day. I hope you found that helpful. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. Here we do put out videos weekly to help engineers become better managers and leaders.